I had a really aggressive form of cancer, so there was all this treatment, but the possibility and the percentages of survival that, you know, I may not be here in five years, that's when the penny dropped. And I realized the potential for what it could mean if I didn't get treated. In many ways, I think I was so shell-shocked by the news that I had breast cancer. You know, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, before that, I just didn't think it would touch my world at all. I'm an example of someone who dragged their feet. And, you know, honestly, imagine if I had dragged my feet for a few months longer or even, you know, maybe a year. I might not even be here today. I wouldn't even have children today. The thing I was most worried about when they told me I had cancer, like for most specific women, was my baby. First and foremost, what is my two-year-old going to do without his mother? I may not be here to see my baby when he's five years old. How big a space is going to be left in my baby's life? This is going to have this massive impact. I think it's important to acknowledge the cancer is very common. I mean, we all know someone, we have friends, family who have uh, been through the trauma. I think it's about talking, having conversations and destigmatizing the whole, you know, cancer subject. The word cancer means different things now. I think in my mum's generation, if you said cancer, everyone would kind of go into this huge shock because it would mean death. But the great thing is in this world, the meaning of it changes now because so many people are survivors. I honestly believe spirituality. I feel like I am a spiritual person. Like my ancestors as a Pacific Islander, I do believe in the stars, the sky, the sun, the moon. I, I really do. It really made me think about the afterlife and religion and what happens, you know, is that it? Are we just done and dusted? Do we just disappear in a cloud of smoke? The transient nature of life and we are not here for a long time, we are all gonna die. It's just how and when and what do we move on to? Illness, health issues are all a part of life and it's just something we, we can't ignore. You just have to face and, and confront these things, just like any medical issues. Yeah, we need to be open, um, talking about it, having conversations. Knowing that you're not alone is, is very important. Finding the lumps is just the difference between being here and not being here. Getting treated is so easy and so effective. It's just celebrate yourself, love your life, and make sure you can live it.